Hello, hello, it's Moji and welcome to Red Embers Reacts. So we just got done with uh, Luna the Journey trailer and flipped that one. We did our uh, reaction and initial analysis to those two. And now we're headed into Flip That Teaser 2. And hopefully we'll get to see even more of this new world that Luna has created. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? Here we go. So teaser, Luna flip that too. We'll watch, we'll watch it once through and then go back bit by bit. Legion? Yojin? What is that order? Hmm. Oh, the song. Sounds interesting. Okay. With the base. Okay. Hmm. That is making me think. Huh. Let's let's go back to the starting before I, I give my thoughts on that 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 ending part. Anyways, let's go through the video a bit at a time. So, of course, we have the opening logo. It's still the same set of flip colors. And then we have the girls revealed one by one in a certain order. But I don't think they followed the pairs that were on the train because so i saw some that were out of order so for example we start off with hijin okay so far that still makes sense um lower wise hijin usually starts off um mvs especially if it's related to you know the world that they're building and then we have Yojin. Yojin is next. Is it because Yojin is in the forest? You know, from from the Luna the Journey trailer. She had her orange door in the forest. And then Hassel. Okay, that's a natural progression. Yojin and Hassel because uh, in the original Luna lore, Hassel is the one that basically hangs around Yojin. And I think Hassel is also the first to find Yojin in the forest. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. And then we move on to Chweri. Which actually still makes sense. Actually, I think we're going through the timeline. I think, is this an actual revelation of the proper timeline of the Lunaverse? Because I've been trying to build the timeline myself. Although there are some, some parts that can still be switched around. They're like open-ended in terms of their timeline. So we know that Hassel and Yojin are together and then cherry comes as of you know like in love cherry motion so this still makes sense and then hyunjin which still makes sense because cherry finds hyunjin okay and yeah in girlfriend and so i think this is this comeback is going to be story based you know there's there's 
two types of um, referencing or recalling the lore in the Luniverse. So one is through the story. So the connections the girls have in the story or the narrative that they have throughout the timeline of the Luniverse. And the other is through symbolism. Like the connections between the symbols that they have, like their colors, color theory, the, their animals, and uh, stuff like that. So I think this is more connected through story rather than their symbolism, which is kind of why I was confused in teaser one. If you've watched teaser one, check it out. <laughs> um, uh, my, my initial analysis to teaser one. Um, I was confused by the pairings. But actually even the pairings in Flip That Teaser 1 also don't make much sense to me story-wise. Only Heejin and Olivia really made sense. Anyways, this one makes more sense story-wise. And then after Hyunjin, we get Jin Soul. Okay. If this is a revelation of the actual timeline of events that happened in the original Lunaverse, this would solve a problem for me. Because among those who are hardest to place in the timeline, seeing in the rain is like, I don't know how that, uh, I don't know yet where that fits in timeline wise. And like, Yeah, how, how Singing in the Rain fits in. And then... Olivia. Okay, or maybe it's a jump. The Jin Soul and Olivia. So, because we know Jin Soul... Um, has a connection to Olivia, right? Um, <laughs> because of, you know, Egoist. And, you know, there's also some theories that Olivia's the one who pulled out her... Ear, um, Jinso's earbud in Sweet Crazy Love. Not so sure about that one though. But definitely the connection in Egoist. So this pairing makes sense. And then we have Ko Won. Maybe a transition from Olivia to Go On. Because Go On seemed the most concerned about Olivia in love forever but basically that's it and then vivi i am at a loss for this one i think i don't see a connection lore wise between koan and vivi unless we're doing another jump in story so we're doing like segments. So we had Heejin, then Yojin, uh, Hasul, Cherry Hyunjin, and then what's next there? Jin Sol, then Olivia, and then Go On, then now Vivi. Who's after Vivi? Chu. Now I have no idea. Why is Vivi in between Go On and Chu? Hmm. I can't. I can't think of one right now. Anyways, this is just an initial analysis. Hopefully, in the future, we'll do better research on this. And then Eve, okay, that one still makes sense. True and Eve, and then Kim Lee, which again does not make sense to me. Like the pairing of Eve and Kim Lee, there might be a deeper connection somewhere there, but uh, any explanation that you could probably think of is kind of like reaching 
Oh wait, I just remembered the crane, the crane game. Eve pulled an owl first out of the crane. So maybe that's that's the connection. That's the only connection from the olden days, pre-debut, between Eve and Kim Lip. Aside from that, I don't know what else. Anyways, hopefully we'll see uh, with the actual MV tomorrow. And then... Okay, some flowers. We see this. It's a key. And it's labeled memory. Is that a key to Vivi's memories? Is this gonna be Vivi era? From what the song sounded like earlier, that, that fits right in Vivi's wheelhouse. Hopefully she gets more lines this time. But you never know with BBC and you know, like the way they've treated Vivi so far over the years. Yeah, this might be a memory a key to the memory of Vivi. Are they gonna explore that somehow? Okay. Let, let's let's hear the the music again. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to hear that again. So let, let's take in the scene, shall we? There are some glowing lights. I believe... Okay, these are, these are not glares. These are not natural glares. I believe... Mm, these are probably what's known as what you would call fairy lights. And well, basically the, the concept I think is like fairies, fairies in the forest. And there's even this um, arrangement of flowers above them that looks like a, a mushroom cap. I don't know. Usually also known as fairy something that they were called toadstools had another name that related to fairies so I, I think i think that's the concept that they're going for here from the choreo they're they're basically emoting flip that yeah the hands are flipping and then now they're in this room which actually kind of reminds me of the star mv because they were also like in a room w filled with lots of plants and flowers and yeah um what else cherry has lollipops now and so do hyunjin and eve i believe they're in a candy shop so i see an ice cream corner over there and then there's there's a popcorn machine to the right and uh, i believe the other stuff here are like boxes of candies okay as to what that means i have no idea this one also gives me star vibes what are they looking at though? What is Kim? Are they just looking out at the new world or something? Hopefully we'll find out. Okay, then we get to this scene. First of all, one big thing comes to mind. That is love cherry motion. Not just because of the color purple, but because of that tree in the middle with the opening on top. And that there was a scene similar to that in Love Cherry Motion. 
And then, what is this place? I think this is a train station? I see a, a board over here that says departure. And then... Oh, those are destinations. It says the Carol 2.0, then high high, then XX, then hash. No, I I can't see what's beside XX. Um, let's see. Can we zoom th into that? nope it's it's less visible than before so yeah xx hash then says so what why not then maybe ampersand i don't know what's after the xx though i can't read it if anyone can i'm probably not using the correct kind of zoom tool maybe there's a better way to zoom that without uh without it pixelating so much Okay, so yeah, again, Love Cherry Motion Vibes, which kind of gives me an idea about the comeback. Because it sounds very subdued, right? But then we have this line from Olivia, which I feel, it feels like a lead-in to a switch up in the song now whether that's gonna be as extreme and jarring as love cherry motion or whether it or whether it's gonna be a smoother switch up i don't know but i feel like there is going to be a switch up in the song that's just my prediction we'll see tomorrow <laughs> but i'm really really, in really intrigued about the song uh right now and i believe that's the last oh uh, last part of the flip that to teaser okay oh what did they click anyways so yeah it seems like we have a lot to look forward to with the comeback tomorrow and we're going to be exploring a whole new world with Luna. Um, now, like there's this added element of their flipped colors aside from their regular colors, because it looked like they're using both, you know, both their flipped colors and their regular colors. Plus, some of the outfits they were wearing earlier um, were, were not their flipped colors, but more like their connection colors, like. Uh, who else they're connected to in the lore or something i'm i'm not sure i might just be pulling stuff out of thin air but yeah so again uh if there's anything i've missed or if there's any additional easter eggs or references that are in this video please please i would really appreciate it if you would uh mention it in the comments down below let's have a discussion on this shall we and then uh if you uh, if, the, if this video interested you please uh hit the like button and if you want to stay updated on future content and you know get notified for my reactions tomorrow to luna's comeback then hit the subscribe and uh notification bell button down below as well until next time have a great day everyone and hope to see you guys in the next stream uh, in the next video sorry <laughs> i'm used to saying that on streams hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now <laughs>